Hey guys, um, this is Emma, uh, and I'm here with my week 53, yeah, week 53 RNY post op gastric bypass follow up. Um, my highest weight was 228 pounds, my surgery weight, I believe, was 217, and my current rate, weight is. Um, 129.6 so I actually had a 1.6 pound gain since the last time I checked in here on YouTube I, I think I, didn't, I did a check in last week so I had a 1.6 pound gain um, it could be a lot of things I mean I don't think I've been as good with my water intake again um, and I've noticed that that affects me um, then it also that time of the month again so I don't know it could be a lot of different things but um, I'm okay with it I had a great week um, thank you to all of you that have been supportive and wishing me well hoping praying that I don't have to have surgery I'm still waiting to hear back from my surgeon um, I'm kind of thinking no news is good news right now <laughs> so um, I haven't heard back so I tried calling him yesterday and I was told that his medical assistant would be contacting me um, hopefully by the end of day and they didn't so I might need to call back again today and follow up with them <clears throat> because I just I just want to know I want to know so that I can plan and make arrangements um, there's quite a few different things that are happening right now as far as work and my living arrangements different things that I need to be focusing on but I want to make sure that um, I know what's going on with my own health before I make any other big changes so yeah this weekend I'm looking forward to this weekend my mom's getting married so I'm gonna be driving down to um, LA and spending time with my family I get to play a little bit of dress up because I'm gonna be a bridesmaid and I got my nails done to match uh, my mom's wedding colors, so they're kind of cute. I'm really excited. Um, this past weekend was also amazing. Um, I went to see Jody Olds, and I think she she's five years post-op um, BSG. And um, I, many of you may know her. Um, she was at WLSFA, and she was doing youtube videos and i think she mentioned she's gonna do a, a a video pretty soon on her five year surge anniversary so i went to see her this weekend um she took me kayaking i've never been kayaking before and i think i probably wouldn't have ever even tried going kayaking before because when you have to slide into that little thing it is so narrow and small i would have been scared of like tipping that thing over but um <clears throat> we went kayaking over the weekend and it was just really nice it's really hot out here um, so it was nice to be out on the lake and spending time and talking to a good friend that's um, been very supportive and sort of like <clears throat> a mentor in some ways um, throughout this process because you know I think that I'm starting to realize like the the weight loss surgery part of this was like the fun and exciting um, part at least for me it may be very different for other people but I think for me this past year has been like super exciting to see the physical changes looking at um, the clothes sizes just seeing my body transform but I think um, now I'm really I feel I was putting in work I've always been putting in work I don't want to discount any of that but I feel that maintenance is gonna be a lot harder so it's really nice to have someone that's so far out like that much far out that can give me some advice and to see um, some like healthy things I can do to maintain my weight and maintain all of the progress that I've made I'm so sorry I'm making all these weird faces because I just ate and I had a major cheat today <laughs> I ate Taco Bell and not just like a bean and cheese burrito mm -mm. I had a Mexican pizza I was craving it so bad I wanted like I wanted to crunch on something and I had Mexican pizza <laughs> don't judge me but I'm kind of suffering the consequences right now because I feel like it's up here 
Um, I didn't eat all of the the tostada part of it, but I did eat a good chunk of it. Um, and it has like beans and meat on it and cheese. And I'm really full. And I think I didn't feel it while I was eating. And now as the time's going by, like I'm starting to feel it more. But <sighs> it's not, um, I mean, there are things that I eat, I guess. But I think I'm considering more of a cheat because I meal prep. It's been three, four weeks that I've been meal prepping and it continues to work well for me, but I have my lunch at my desk and I still came to Taco Bell and I got food, so I don't know what that's about. Um, I think I don't, have, I, don't, I don't have an excuse for it, <laughs> but um, the meal prepping still continues. I've been drinking my green smoothies. Um, I actually bought stevia drops on um, this weekend and I bought some coconut vanilla milk at Trader Joe's and it's really made my smoothies a lot better like actually I enjoy them a little bit more than I did the first couple of days um, and I've been switching it up my meals up a little bit but overall still doing good I had a little bit of a gain this week but I'm good um, what else? Oh, something else. So the reason I went to see Jody this weekend was because we went to get hydrostatic hydrostatic fat testing done. And um, if you haven't done that before, it's basically they submerge you underwater so that they can separate your lean mass from your fat. And it's like the most accurate weight that you can get. I wish I had the paper with me, but I, I have it in my car. But um, basically, my fat percentage is at 30% right now. And according to to them, um, I am in the unhealthy category. So we all know this entire year, I've been working my ass off to try to be within the healthy range. And I know a lot of that is BS. Like, there's no way that all of our bodies are going to be in that category. But... Um, so in this hydrostatic testing I came out and if the experience of doing it isn't traumatizing enough just hearing this man tell me how unhealthy and how much fat I have in my body was traumatizing so they basically have you submerge yourself underwater and you're breathing out so you feel like you're purposefully like suffocating yourself and you have to be down there and expelling as much air as possible and then um, then out of the three times that you get submerged under they take the best reading mm, so I'm at a 30% and for someone in my age range and my height they're saying that I should be at about 25 or less fat um, so I mean I think we know that like we lose weight um, so rapidly that we also run the risk of losing muscle so I think in a way it sucks to hear that I'm in the unhealthy category, but it actually gave me something to plan and set new goals for because I was getting a little worried about how am I going to maintain this if I don't have something that I'm working towards, something I need, I need like something visual that I can see, something tangible. Like I haven't really been fixated on a scale. Like I'm okay with not weighing myself. I do it once a week because I do my follow-ups and just for you know to check but I'm not the type to like really obsess over that number anymore or way frequently um, but it's giving me something to set goals for so I'm thinking that I'm gonna give myself six months of continuing to work out and doing some more weight training and then going back and getting tested again to see if I have increased my muscle mass um, or decreased my fat percentage so right now I'm at 30 30 percent and he recommended that I do more weightlifting more than cardio and of course they recommend like this absurd number of calories that we cannot get um, I get a lot more calories in now I eat about 900 to a thousand calories a day sometimes a little more uh, but it all comes from most of the time if I'm not eating Taco Bell uh, it comes from vegetables and um, protein and some whole grains but 
for the most part, I eat pretty healthy. Um, but I eat about 900 calories, though. He's telling me that I needed to eat about 13 to 1500 calories. Not gonna happen. Um, I did explain to him that I'm a weight loss surgery patient. I don't think he really understood that, but I think that if I can give myself about six months, I don't really know realistically like what I can work towards, like what number, but even if I just see it drop by a couple percentages, I think it'll be progress. So I think that's gonna be my next goal, like working on my muscle mass and hopefully having a lower number within six months from now. That's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to end this video because I don't feel good. I ate too much. And I probably ate too fast because I'm starting to feel full right now instead of when I was actually eating. So, yeah. So, hydrostatic fat testing. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I when I go back. So, I am going to go back within six months from now. Um, can we talk about my clothes and how big it fits me? Like, I'm constantly having to readjust and move things around but I actually I was thinking I was gonna pass on these clothes to someone else but I realized I'm a little scared like what if I gain some weight and then I'm gonna have to buy clothes again so I think I'm comfortable at this weight that I'm at so I'm thinking I can probably keep my mediums and my smalls and then that way that's gonna be kind of where I allow myself to go maybe no more than 130 pounds and then That'll be like my max, and then that means I have to work out and, and do some readjusting. But anyway, that's a tangent. I will talk to you all next week, and I hope you are all having an amazing week. See you soon. Bye.